So when we are having a discussion with regard to the Amrutagal, I would say that I have a three-dimensional view of the Indian Parliament. I used to watch the Parliament from outside, from above, and now I am being part of this Parliament, sitting below, sir. Sir, when we speak about Parliament, the basic aspect which we need to keep in mind, that is parliamentary democracy, sir. That is very important. Sir, what is the tenet of parliamentary democracy? The fundamental cardinal principle of parliamentary democracy, as Karge Saab said, accountability of executive to the legislature. Narendra Saab, you have seen our delegate. Say, na. Have you ever seen an accountability of the executive to the legislature? Have you ever seen? Now, the opposition leader was speaking about the presence of the prime minister. I was trying to dissect that. You know what is the presence of the prime minister in parliament? 0.001 percent. 0.001 percent. So that is the that is the period in which he attended the parliament sessions. Sir, the leader of the house was very vocal, but he missed many crucial names, sir, including Jawaharlal Nehru. Intention, intention, and I know that when uh, Darbendra Saab is speaking, he would deliberately fill those void and would bring in Jawaharlal Nehru, Ambedkar Saab. Sir, I am telling you, sir, the names which have been missed by Piyush Goyalji, you will have to spell out when you are speaking, Darbendra Saab. <laughs> sir, the exercise would be meaningful. If you discuss about the dreams and goals of our architects of constitution. Sir, I will just dwell on the preamble of it, sir. Sir, it speaks about, say, what does it say? Liberty, equality and fraternity. Sir, if you take justice, you will notice that we have reached the bulldozer era. That is justice now. The justice that is being imparted is the bulldozer era. Sir, if it is economic justice, <coughs> sir, we don't want to speak about the Oxfam report because that's not a good company for good organization for the present dispensation. It's blacklisted. You see the inequality that is spiraling up, sir. Sir, the liberty that has been assured, where has it reached, sir? Now it is more manifested in the form of sedition and UAP. That is a liberty we just reached. Sir, another cardinal principle is equality of status and opportunities. This government is honest to say that they don't believe in it, sir. Ambedkar, who they try to appropriate now, was absolutely clear when he said that democracy is not the law of majority, but the protection of minority. Rajit Adrasekar sir, protection of minorities. It's not said by John Britas, by Ambedkar sir. Sir, what is the representation of 20 crore Muslims in executive, in legislature, judiciary, even in media, sir? Viti Ushaji, you know that, the representation of Muslims, Christians, minorities in Kerala. What is the situation in Delhi, in parliament, in executive, sir? Sir, we all talk about, this government's pet topic is to, I mean, discuss about Mughals. I said, they talk about Mughals more than the Indians now, actually. <laughs> Sir, in Akbar's court, or even in Aurangzeb court, more than 50% of the ministers were Hindus. Viraj sir, Birbal, you know who was a Birbal? He was a Hindu, sir. Can you spot somebody in this executive now? What is, what is the status of the representation of minorities, sir? Sir, Nehru's cabinet, that was the first ministry. It was a model government. It had given representation to every segment. Tarbendra Prasad Saab, two Muslim cabinet ministers. Ma you, you know Maulana Asad, Raf Rafi Ahmad, John Matai, that was a Parsi, Sikh, everyone. Of course, Shama Prasad Mukherjee. And even 
not having a ideological, I would say, togetherness. I know Derek Saab, representation from Bengali, of course. Sir, it was Maulana Asad who stood on the steps of the Juma Masjid and said, this country is ours. We have built up this country. There is no need of going away from this country. You want to obliterate the last set of memory about Maulana Asad, you scrap the scholarship. Dharmendra Saji, you scrap the scholarship. Not you, I think Smriti Rani ji, I think. Even that, not, not he, he didn't scrap. Sir, come into fraternity. Sir, what is the new usage of fraternity? Madam, you know what is the new usage of fraternity? Go to Pakistan. <laughs> go to Pakistan. If somebody speaks, they will say, you go to Pakistan. Sir, we are part of this country. We are as patriotic as you are, sir. Sir, maybe more. Sir, now G20, there have been a lot of discussions, fanfare about G20. We appreciate if India get a standing amongst the uh, other nations. But if you look at the indices, Rajiv Sir, what is indice? Per capita GDP, human development index, hunger index, I'm last day. Bilkul last day. And is that the reason why you brought in African Union to the G20? So that we, we did not be last? Anyway, I appreciate that. Sir, coming to the preamble again, sir. Sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic, sir. Sir, what is sovereignty now? Hugging Western leaders from Trump to Biden doesn't mean sovereignty. You finished up now. Because... Nehru's name is there. We don't want non-alignment movement to be there. Just because Jawaharlal Nehru was instrumental in setting up non-alignment movement. Now, sir, the second word, socialism. What is socialism, sir? Socialism has become Adanism. That is a new word, Adanism. P.T. Usha, madam. Socialism, better gaya, Adanism, ho gaya. Chup chap up. You should be standing up and talking about that. Now, sir, secularism, sir, other things, sir, see, secularism, you know, a gentleman sitting in prime minister's office had the audacity to say, Dharmendra Prasad, sir, Dharmendra ji, Suniye, sir, Bibek them, Roy, this constitution has become useless, only 17 years it can stand. And he said he doesn't understand the meaning of socialism and secularism. A gentleman heading the Economic Advisory Council of the Prime Minister had the audacity to come and say that he doesn't understand the meaning of secularism and socialism. I would have expected a cabinet minister, the stature of Dharmendra Pradaji, to say, shut your mouth. Did you say, sir? You should have said it. Sir, now... Another word, sir, democracy. See, many of the members think, sir, democracy has turned to be namocracy or modiocracy. <laughs> sir, namocracy or modiocracy because we don't see the prime minister. My daughter was asking, did you get an opportunity to sit with the prime minister, sir? I said, no. <laughs> Very rarely only I get, sir. So, what does it mean, sir? Democracy means accountability of the executive the parliament and parliament being accountable to the people that is democracy sir sir republic i know where is ragesh sinaji for ragesh sinha and others you know what is the meaning of republic vice chairman sir you know what is the meaning of republic arno gosan <laughs> that is the meaning of republic for many of the treasury benches people <laughs> sir that is the state of affairs of this country. Dharmendra ji, please don't look me like this. Please. Thank you, Dharmendra ji, for reminding me about the dismissal of EMS Tambudripa. For such misdeeds, they have been punished. They are sitting here. Precisely that is the reason. Otherwise, do, do you think that they would have been put here? But you are repeating the same mistake. You are calling us, depicting us as Somalia. Say so extreme poverty, let us look at. Extreme poverty in UP and Bihar is 30-40%. In southern states, it is 
in kerala it is almost zero yes yes, yes. yes. almost zero yes. extreme poverty sir it is because it is because sir 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 so much of disruption sir i want your protection sir i want your protection you have my protection yes sir 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 this happened this this happened because oh mr murlidharan seems to be a keralaite seems to be a keralaite but his only job is to act against kerala yeah. Yeah. his only job is to act against kerala sir sir when we talk about 75 years of indian democracy we cannot forget the name of mahatma gandhi yes i was surprised that nobody from the treasury bench even referred to mahatma gandhi just because he held gita quran and bible close to his chest he was assassinated he was assassinated only because of that i do everybody knows about sir you are replacing mahatma gandhi with with savarkar that's why sir the new parliament has been inaugurated on the birth anniversary of savarkar instead of mahatma gandhi you should have if you had some respect you would have done sir sir your further sir Sir, time sir. allotted is over sir, sir i wanted to sir, say sir, your time is over sir, so but much i came to know sir. your time sir, can never minutes, be sir, over two minutes i'll finish sir sir two minutes sir the biggest business sir please the main business of this government is to appropriate people sardar patel they think that sardar patel is there sir was in sardar patel who banned rss yes. after the assassination of mahatma gandhi yes what did he say sir the banning was to root out the force of hate and violence yes, that are work that are at work in our country yes. and imperil the freedom of nation and darken her fair name yes. sir another person who is being appropriated is vivekananda didn't he say so sectarianism bigotry and its horrible descendant fanaticism have long possessed this beautiful earth they have filled the earth with violence that is what vivekananda said sir sir the unfortunate part sir sir you are a legal luminary we are very happy that you preside over this house sir yes. your rich knowledge sir i have seen you as a minister in 1989 when you came to lok sabha sir i was in the gallery sir with huge admiration i have been observing you and watching you sir sir but the unfortunate part is that sir the demolition of every institution in this house in every institution from parliament to please election commission now. please conclude sir i sir i am talking about you also sir <laughs> sir that is why you have to conclude sir i am going to talk about you also sir <laughs> <laughs> can sir, conclude every institution in this country is being demolished from pa parliament to election commission sir what is election commission now now they are they are bringing the status of the election commissioners from the supreme court judge status to cabinet secretary and day after tomorrow dharmendra pradhan ji will bring a bill to make them a chaprasi that is going to happen sir sir every institution Shri, is being disbanded sir Shri, sir article 1 sir why court last one sir one of the court sir why court sir i just i think one one minute one minute sir one minute it says that india that is bharat shall be union of states sir sir federalism sir <laughs> kerala contributes 1 rupee and get back 25 paisa that is the status of federalism in this country sir yes sir it, yes, it has turned to be like that the honorable sir, sir yes. i would say that you the, told me once again chairman sir you second. wanted us to i mean has changed the the honorable member has made a statement of fact Yes, he, he will authenticate. I will, I will authenticate. Authenticate. Sir. sir, Kerala contributes one rupee to the national kitty, gets back twenty-five paise. Mm. I repeat it. I will place the document on the table of the house during course of the day, sir. And sir, last thing, sir. Sir, it's good that we are taking stock of this country, democracy, institutions, parliament in this Amrit Gals. Sir, structure doesn't matter, sir. New parliament or old parliament, the process matters. the content matters can we enrich the parliamentary proceedings can we enrich the democratic process in this country you can build mansions structures but sir 
that will not strengthen the democracy democracy in this country unless you enrich sir please so, now i would urge the conclude, court, conclude i would urge the treasury benches through you sir let us all